but yeah. <laughs> Good start. <laughs> so day one of shooting, we are on our first location, setting up the equipment. Um, we're almost ready to start filming. We're just setting the swef on the camera, <laughs> and then we're going to start our road trip. It'll be good. So what's your job in this whole thing then, George? Um, I'm going to be the camera car. Andrew is going to be my assistant filming um, <laughs> filming this road trip as if we were on like an episode of Top Gear. Um, and hopefully we'll have some great shots of, sort of behind and front and then we'll stop on the journey to get some exterior shots as well. Andrew, you've done the locations. Uh, how what? are you feeling? You've done the locations, how are you feeling? Uh, yeah, I'm happy with the locations. They all look like good spots. So, uh, good stuff. Yeah. Kaylin? Yeah, so look, you look a bit confused. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out what, what I'm doing, but you know, we're, we're doing pretty well at the moment. We've got everything set up, so we're ready to go. Decent. <laughs> See you guys soon. We're going to have a quick setup tour now. we got Kaylin on that camera for the main camera with the angle there, and we got Andrew on the secondary camera there. Oh First shoot difficulties we've got blooming strimmers. Always helpful. Second set up here. Camera's positioned just by the door. And we've got the lovely Alex and the wonderful Andrew getting some nice B-roll. Okay, so we're just setting up for the second scene. Uh, the first one went pretty good. We've got some good shots, and now we're preparing for our sort of the main bit of our package. We've got some equipment set up here, ready for when we stop on the side of the road to get some nice shots. We've got Andrew, who's going to be our cameraman in the back. He's got a nice DSLR with a fig rig, going to be pointing out in the back window. Uh, we've got Alex over there, who's going to be driving the main car. He's going to be presenting uh, on the road, saying some facts. And we've got the lovely Kaylin, who's going to be getting some audio and some shots in the back, as well as helping Alex with the script. Okay, so we're behind the scenes at one of our exterior shooting locations. Um, we're pretty good so far. We're waiting for Alex and the team. Got a tripod set up there. Got that camera set up there, which I'm going to be holding and panning around this hill. And then, of course, we've got Andrew here with the fig rig, who's hopefully going to get a shot from this direction when they come around this hairpin, and it will make for some nice exterior shots. Okay, so we're at our next location now. Um, we've got a tripod this time set up to try and get some nice still shots for when the car drives past. And Andrew over there has once again got the fig rig and when they come past and we're just waiting on this road for the main crew to come past. Moved on to the next location. Um, we're hopefully going to get some shots of Alex pulling in. So I've set up a camera with a tripod, which I'll move in just a second. And then we've got uh, a couple of other cameras down there that we're going to see what works best. We'll try fig rig and get uh, one tripod and one handheld shot, hopefully. And Alex is over there, ready to pull in in a minute. Team is here. Camera set up. We've worked out our positionings and we're ready to begin. Yeah. And then just because it's really hard to talk and yeah. drive, mm -hmm. so we're just trying to try and sort of get some peace back. Yeah. So we're about halfway around the journey now. And then what, maybe we can then we'll just do some shots of me following you. And then we'll oh actually, yeah yeah yeah. We'll yeah go to, we'll go yeah. to the place. Yeah. And we'll come back.
So how much do electric cars cost? Well, let's compare the Volkswagen Golf to its electric cousin. The electric car costs 28,000 pounds, whilst the petrol car costs eight. I think I should do it the other way around, shouldn't I? Do the cheaper number first, then the more expensive one. Probably. The petrol car costs 18,000 pounds, whilst the electric car costs 28,000, and that is with the government grant. Then you also got to factor in electric things. Electric things. And that is with a government grant. Then you've got to factor Well, let's compare it to the petrol version of each. <laughs> well, let's compare the Volkswagen Golf to its electric cousin. The Volkswagen Lug. <laughs> that looks solid. That's a, that's a freeze frame picture right there. I'm recording as well, so. We're here at the archway, which is our next filming location. We're just going to go and find somewhere safe to stand uh, so that we can film when Alex comes through. It's the end of day one. Supplies are dwindling. Morale is at an all time low. We're down to our last pack of chewing gum and everyone's too polite to take it. Day number two. Look how big fat jokes are now. Turn right. Could you deal with that, George? Right, so yeah, today we're doing some B-roll for the old show. We're going to a couple of car dealerships, which is going to be so much fun. See you there, boys. Just an update for you. We are now outside Smart, and we're going to go just get a couple of shots of some of their electric model cars that we can use for sort of ooves and uh, overlaying footage and such. Update, we've been to Smart, got some good footage. We also went to Nissan and got uh, some B-roll there. Hold it up, don't be a proper vlogger. You've got to do it up there. <laughs> you might be the director. In fact, you're not even the director. <laughs> well, you just said it. Okay, update, we've been to Smart. We got some footage of their electric car uh, and then we went to Nissan. Uh, and got some footage of their electric car too so we should have plenty of footage to work with in the edit and now we're scouting out a potential location for more sort of uh, overlay footage we're thinking in the middle of the motorway but <laughs> it might be a bit tough okay <laughs> word of advice don't vlog while going downstairs i've done it before it doesn't end well i fell down the stairs might happen again <laughs> um we are one crew member down today which is a bit of a difficulty but we're gonna work Zoom. with it <laughs> we're gonna work with it um, and hopefully he'll be with us tomorrow. So we scouted out the location and we decided this was the best spot 
and we're just setting up one camera to get some sort of stock footage of the motorway. Mini update day two, finished the other bit. We're now at the Tesla supercharging station um, and we're just going to get a couple of shots of the charges so that we can use them when talking about electric cars. Alex is going to be doing our handheld shots. He's going to get sort of this angle with a general view. And then we've got Andrew over there with the fig rig who's going to do our close-ups. Right now he's sort of getting the, the sign um, so that we've got a bit of iconography that we can use, which is good. You're going to get some close-ups of the charging station as well and that sort of stuff. Yeah. We just wanted a little bit more footage of traffic, so uh, we stopped by one of the roads that we have permission to film by um, because of Kent Public Highways and stuff. Um, and we've just set up a camera down there just to film a couple of little bits that we might be able to use later on. Okay, so towards the end of the day now, of day two, um, we're just sitting in Costa and we decided to get a little shot out the window of some cars driving past um, that we can hopefully use and the team are here too <laughs> so to conclude day two we're just gonna get a couple of pickup shots that we missed from yesterday we've got a GoPro there so that we can see Alex pulling in Andrew is gonna be following Alex as he pulls in and then I'm here with this camera to hopefully pan and follow as we come down there so that we have continuity and we can sort of go in a circular narrative. That's the idea anyway. Okay, so we're on day three now. Um, heading into London today to do some filming um, to get some sort of overlay and stuff that we can use for our intro and for our channel sequence. Um, I'm going to meet the others up there. So. The next station is Denmark Hill. <laughs> I'll update you when we get there. Okay, so long story short, we went to Battersea. Wasn't an ideal location. We got a quick shot on Alex's phone, but I guess it was our fault for not properly reckoning the location first. And now we're headed to Stratford to get some shots in that area. So we've encountered our first difficulty of the day, and that being the rain. I don't know if you can see it, but it's basically started to rain outside. So we was gonna set up a tripod. Um, but it's become a little bit difficult, so instead we've stopped for lunch to hopefully wait for the rain to pass. Improvisation is key here, so that's, that's what we're going to Yeah. Okie dokie, update time. So we sat and had lunch and eventually it stopped raining, but just in case, we've gone and brought an umbrella so that we can hold it over a camera if necessary. Uh, and we've set up just outside Olympic Park Alex is over there with one camera getting some nice shots of the view. Kaylin is setting up a time lapse right there. And then I've got this guy. I'm going to get some good shots of some pans and focus balls and see what else we can get to really fill up the time. Next mini update for you. We've been to the Olympic Park. We got a few shots there, but we we're running tight for time. So we've had to move on pretty quickly. Um, but while we've got a minute, we've stopped by this bridge to get some shots uh, and some time lapses. We've got this camera set up here that Kaylin's doing a time lapse of said bridge. And Alex is just getting a few pickup shots there. So we've approached our next location which is London City Airport. We wanted some shots of planes landing and taking off. There goes one now, which will make for some good stuff. And then capturing it with Alex with the handheld there for ease of access and just sort of quickness. Still at London City Airport. Um, Alex and Kaylin are over there. We've got one or two shots of planes landing. I think they did better than me. So I'm struggling a little bit because of the wind. I'm trying to balance the fig rig as best as possible, but it's a little bit difficult because I'm also getting the vibrations from this bridge. But I think we've got one or two good bits we'll have to see later on. We got this plane landing in here that Alex and Kayla are gonna try and get a shot. Of. Okay, 
Chaylin's going to get a static shot of the runway as the plane lands. And Alex has been tracking it as it lands. So hopefully we'll have some good angles to work with. Okali, so we're at East India now, uh, not Bank as I wrongly thought. Um, we are literally right next to the Thames um, and we're just going to get literally a couple of time lapses because, I mean, without being rude, it's just the Thames, it's nothing special. There's not much you can creatively do that hasn't already been done. So we've got Kaylin who's set up the gorilla pod there and then Alex is just getting a couple of pans around. We'll let you know if anything else interesting happens. Kind of on our way to the Gherkin, but we kind of got distracted by this flashy looking building here. So we've just set up a time lapse just to get a couple of shots of the traffic driving past this flashy building. Okie dokie, due to time constraints and the fact that we're losing the light, um, we're basically wrapping up now. We've got one final shot of the shard, which is just there. Um, but I think that's going to have to do it for today because we're just running out of light and running out of time. Um, if anything else happens, I'll let you know, but that's so far, that's been day four and a pretty productive day four it's been too. So we're on location of day four today. We are ready for our live interview. We are setting up with Kaylin on the Panasonic and then we've got that camera for that angle and that camera for that angle and we'll let you know. We're just framing up and we'll let you know what happens. So we've got Alex reading off the script here. We're going to sort of work with that because in a live situation you can't always prepare what you want to say first. And we've just done our first proper take and we're reviewing the footage now. And also Kaylin seems to like cold coffee. <laughs> just as a little quick example, we've got the microphone set up conveniently hidden behind that wine. No we don't. <laughs> So as you can see, they brought up some really interesting points there, but we want to get a different perspective on this, so we're going to start with AJ, electric car expert and fan. Would you like to introduce yourself? Hi Alex, thank you very much. So my name's AJ. Um, I'm by far uh, not an expert. <laughs> uh, I am very much an enthusiast. Um, I absolutely love driving electric cars. I've been driving electric cars now for approximately five, maybe six years. Next minute update. We've just moved AJ's car in it next door so that we can get some nice shots that we can use for VT and B-roll. Alex is over there getting some nice close-ups and I'm going to do some pans with this tripod. Uh, Alex, sorry, uh, Kaylin and Andrew are just packing away the other equipment so that we make sure we stay to schedule. George is obsessed with this thing. Typical. So George, what was your opinion on today? Peng, in a word. Um, I think we were a really productive team. Um, we set up a really nice shot. Um, I think I was really happy with all the angles and I was really happy with you as a presenter. As soon as you warmed up, you just need to... Thank you, mate. <laughs> as soon as you warmed up, you've just got this personality and AJ was such a legend. Kaylin, how's the Maccas, more importantly? It's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Solid 8 out of 10. It'd be a 9 if it, if it was a bit more salt on these trips, but you know. 
we go to the salt master. <laughs> How was it today, Andrew? Uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, Camera operator for the day. Yeah. What? One of. Oh, ish, yeah. <laughs> but, um, uh, yeah, I thought it went well. Whoa! Wait a <laughs> who burp it? Who burp it? Rick the scale. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, good stuff, Andrew. It was alright. Good morning, groovy people. We are on day five of shoot week, the final day. We are now at Mainstone Studios setting up our green screen setup. Today I'm joined by the lovely Andrew, who's going to be presenting first of all, and the lovely Kaylin, who's on camera at the minute, and then we're going to switch roles shortly. Um, we're just having a little practice go. We've still got the lights to set up, and I'll keep you updated as to what happens next. Yeah. Welcome back. So we've got our lights set up, one there and one there. But the first problem we've encountered, I don't know if you'll be able to see on the screen, but we've got some major shadowing going on. So I'm going to have a little play around with the lights and we're going to have a look and see what we can do on the settings to maybe reduce this because it's not going to work out in post. I can tell you that straight up. I'll let you know what happens. Welcome back. So we couldn't get it amazingly perfect but we got it pretty darn close um we've got andrew in the hot seat of the minute quite literally the hot seat because we've got one two three four whole lights on him we consider a backlight but i'm not sure it's necessary i might have a quick look but this is as close as we can get it so we've got our sort of fill light and our key light right there and then we've got a couple of leds over there to try and reduce the shadows which is a key part because obviously it's going to be the biggest hassle. Um, apart from that, I think they're pretty much good to go. Later on in the program, we will be hearing from some mechanics as well as an electric car enthusiast to hear their takes on the subject. But first, we wanted to see how much it costs for an average car journey in today's economy. So, day five is basically now almost a wrap. We've just finished filming our studio work. Pretty happy with it. The green screen looked good. The framing was ace. Kaylin on the camera and the presenter. Multitasking over here. Doing a badass job. And we've got the lovely, spectacularly Andrew, who is doing some presenting as well. And then I'm going to take a look shortly to see what the footage looked like. And we're just sort of packing away. And that is officially a wrap for TV news. Well, the shooting part anyway. The room is empty. We've packed everything away. It's being guarded by our lovely guard dog, Mr. Winfield. <laughs> it's just me and Kayla now. Alex is fucked off to do it. Actually, I probably shouldn't swear. Oh, I've done it now. <laughs> Alex fucked off to Germany. To Germany. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just us. How do you think it went, Kayla? Uh, it was pretty good. It was smooth. We organised it well. Uh, yeah, it went to plan, I think. There wasn't too many complications. What was your favourite part? Uh, probably the GoPro stuff and filming in the car. And that was pretty fun. Cool. So, yeah. Well, that's it. We'll let you know how the project goes. It'll be out <laughs> shortly, we hope. And um, fingers crossed. Take care, guys. <laughs> well, hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Unexpectedly, we are back on set, as it were, for a couple of additional days of shooting. Basically, we had um, a meeting with Helen. Um, she recommended that we redo some stuff. We want this project to be the best as possible for you guys, so we're going to get some pickup shots and some new live bits. Alex is here too. We're going to set up his cameras, so I'm going to be doing some shots with this old big rig. And we got Andrew with the tripod. We're going to start filming Alex getting out of the car, as well as a couple of other pickup shots. Do you have anything to say on the matter? It's cool. Good. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are on Brands Hatch. It's 9.30 in the morning. We're going to get some pieces for our live today because the lovely, lovely Helen uh, said we needed to get something new. I'm joined today by the wonderful Alex Baldwin. The others sadly couldn't be here today, but I think we, the two of us, Two times two is two times two is four, so we're basically saying that we're a squad among ourselves, and we're going to get some epic, epic live videos today for you, lovely people. And this project is going to succeed hands down. We'll let you know how it goes later. So, Jason, how long have you been involved in motorsport? 
Um, well, I've grown up with it all my life. Um, my father started a team um, way back in the early 70s when it started racing, and um, back in about 1994 I started racing, so that's, uh, well, 23 years is that? So yeah, so quite a, quite a while. Okay, so first interview and second interview done. Um, we went around the paddock um, and we spoke to, um, I don't want to say elderly driver, um, a mature driver. Um, he had some really interesting stuff to say. Um, he did a good interview, um, but we wanted to get a little bit more just so we could get this project as good as possible and make sure that we didn't just get one thing and then just leave. Um, we're dedicated and we wanted to get a range of opinions. So then we went to see a second guy who was really up for it. I think he thought we were like press or something. So he was super enthusiastic and really positive to the camera. Alex, of course, did a wonderful presenting job. He warmed up a little bit first. <laughs> I think he wasn't quite prepared for what they were going to say, but I think, I think once he got into the swing of things, I don't think you can tell the difference between you and, well, Susie Perry. <laughs> Is that an insult? No, it's a compliment. Okay. Sweet. How, how do you think it went? No, it was pretty good. They gave some really insightful answers. I was worried that it was going to be awkward, but the second guy especially made it really just easy. And we had a good like five minute conversation beforehand, which I think made it much easier anyway. Yeah. So, although we didn't ideally plan for this day, um, we did a quick recce, we went around, we got some good stuff and I think it's going to work out really nicely. Um, we're just sitting by the track at the minute, um, having a look at cars go past. We'll probably get out and take some more shots for sort of oeuvre and b-roll and insert technical time here. Um, and you know, just get some pictures of the drivers and just make this day worthwhile. And if anything else interesting happens we'll let you know, but yeah, successful, successful final day. Well, another final day of filming. So we're here on the last day, unfortunately we had to do another day. Um, yeah, well, George, we thought, what's your we thoughts thought, on this? Um, I think in the last vlog I said that that would be the last shoot day, but of course we've had to redo the studio stuff, so now is officially the last day. Um, just setting up the lights, trying to reduce the shadows. Um, just get the best angle as possible. I think we've got a good setup. And you're here too, which makes, you know, it helps <laughs> Makes out. it worse for you. Hey. <laughs> so, you guys are the presenters here today. Um, what, what's your thoughts on what you're saying, Andrew? Um, yeah, I'm pretty confident what I'm saying. I've run over them quite a bit, so. Good stuff. I think it's going to be pretty good. I wish I could read it right now, but you know. Boah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see what you mean. It should be pretty easy. Looking forward to it. Bloody hell. Um, yeah. Hello, George. Hi. Yeah, no, that's as good as it's going to get, I think. Very so, nice. Yeah. Decent. We're just doing a quick yeah. practice run through before we actually start filming. Why are you not interrupting me, George? <laughs> it's up tour. We've uh, had to improvise with the mic because obviously we're two presenters. They can't both have clip mics. So we've got this on top of this sort of makeshift stand. I'm glad I brought my hoodie. <laughs> and then we've got three lights because we tried to sort of well, four technically, but we've got three tungsten because two was just causing too much of an issue with shadows. And although we've still got shadows, we've reduced them as much as possible and we can sort of chroma key them out later. Still to come today, we discussed USB charging in electric cars. Is it really that slow? And with new driving test regulations being implemented this coming December, will failure rates rise? See you after the break. Okay, with some adjustments to the setup, several takes later, um, various adaptations to the layout and such. We tried to use clip mics, that didn't work. <laughs> There's now something on my back, but finally that's, that's the filming wrapped up, officially. Any comments, anyone? I'm happy it's over. <laughs> Andrew, anything to say on the matter? Finally. <laughs> well, I mean, all I can say is, we did it, guys. We did it, I hope it's good. It better be good, it will be good.